back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, I have an awesome treat for you guys. Holidays are around the corner, Halloween is coming up, and I know around the holidays, I love to bake and make awesome desserts. So for today's video, we have an awesome recipe, only three ingredients. Today, we're going to make some Keto Rice Krispies. So let's get straight to the video. All right guys, so for our three ingredients today, you're going to want one stick of unsalted butter. And then for our marshmallow replacement, we're using these awesome sugar-free Max Mellow marshmallows in the flavor vanilla. They have tons of flavors. Of course, I will link these in the description below for y'all to check out. I got them on Amazon in a three pack and they are so good and full of flavor. They're keto friendly and they have collagen and MCT oil on them. So today we're going to be using one bag of these and then of course for our cereal replacement we're going to be using the high key protein cereal in the frosted flavor i do have a code on these for y'all to receive a discount i will link it in the description below for y'all as well but we're going to be using one of these as well all right guys so the first step we're going to do is start making our marshmallow mix so we're going to get a pot right here and we're going to put it on a low heat you're going to want to melt this low and slow you don't want to overdo it because you will burn it and I am only going to be using five tablespoons of butter. So first you wanna completely melt this down and don't let it burn. All right guys, once your um, butter has completely melted, we're going to add one bag of our Max Mellows in the vanilla flavor. I usually would add like some vanilla bean to this or some vanilla, but these have a really strong, great vanilla flavor. So I don't add any extra vanilla. So we're going to toss these in and these are the way they look if y'all wanna check them out. They're just like a marshmallow, the texture and everything. They're so good, I highly recommend them. We're going to melt these down and remember to keep it low and slow and just keep stirring. You do not want to burn it. And this may take up to a few minutes to melt. All right, guys, once it's completely melted down like this, it took about four minutes to completely melt down. We're going to turn off our heat. And now we're going to add in two and a half to three cups of these high key frosted cereals. These cereals are so, so good. I absolutely love them. So we're gonna put in one cup, two cups, and then we're going to fold these in slowly and then we're gonna add more. All right guys, so after two cups, you can still see that they're a little too creamy still, so we're gonna add in another cup. So this is a total of three cups of our high key cereal. And this should do it right here. Now, once we have this completely mixed and coated, we're going to flip this into our baking pan. And they smell absolutely amazing. The vanilla from those marshmallows are really, really good and strong. They have great vanilla flavor. And this is the way it should look. So now we're going to put it in our baking pan. All right guys, so I have my six by nine baking pan right here. I like my Rice Krispie treats a little thick. This makes about six servings, so it's a pretty good amount of servings. We're going to flip these out. If you like them thinner, you can probably use a bigger baking pan. Make sure we get all our cereal. And then you're just going to simply smush it down into the pan and you don't need anything for it not to stick because these will come out very easily. All right guys, and once we have it like this, these are very quick and easy to make. The only time that it's going to take is you're going to want to let it completely set. This will take about 40 minutes to an hour depending, but you do want to let it completely cool down and set before we dig right into it. All right guys, so after about an hour of your Rice Krispies settling, this is what they should look like. We're going to cut right into them. Usually I cut about six squares. And this is our Keto Rice crispy, Perfect for the holidays, Halloween, and enjoy. 
Mm, they're so good. Question of the day, are you ready for some keto holiday recipes? Comment down below. All right, guys, just a little side note. If y'all do plan on buying these cereals and marshmallows, I would greatly appreciate it if y'all would click the link in my description below. It just helps my channel to keep growing and it shows a lot of support and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, so that concludes today's video of our Keto Rice Krispies. I hope y'all give this easy, awesome recipe a try. And if you did enjoy it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes, and I'll see y'all in my next video.